one day you look in the mirror and you start to notice you're losing your hair. It's starting to go thin. So you jump on Google, you type in hairstyles that work for hair loss. And you know what keeps popping up? Shave your head. Be brave, go bald, shave it all off. But here's the thing, you like your hair. You don't want to shave it. You want to find a hairstyle that works with what you got. In today's video, gents, we're talking about hairstyles that work with thinning hair. If you're losing your hair, if you're going bald and you don't want to shave your head, guys, this is the video for you. The textured Caesar. Now for this particular hairstyle, the hair is cut clipper short on the sides and back and left finger length on top. Now because this hair is style forward and it's got a disheveled look to it, it creates a bit more texture in the front. And this is great if you're starting to have a receding hairline. Now for this particular hairstyle, I do recommend you look at different products out there, but avoid things like gel. Oftentimes they're going to clump your hair together and it's just not going to give you a good look. It's actually going to make some of the bald spots appear even more prominently. Instead, you want to go for things that are going to add texture. I really like matte muds, basically non-shine. That right there is just going to add a bit of texture, give you a little bit more control. Maybe even look at a styling cream. Styling creams, again, they're just going to add a little bit more texture and they're going to have a little bit of direction they can give your hair, even certain pomades. Again, you want to make sure you find a pomade that basically doesn't clump the hair together, but there are many out there and they can give you a little bit of shine if you want something that's a little bit of a dressier look. Great example of this haircut, look to George Clooney. The guy has pulled this off again and again and what I really like is you can tell he's graying, his hair is starting starting the thin, but at the same time, he's really doing the best with what he's got. And overall, this hairstyle, I think it looks great on him. The swept back pompadour. So if you're starting to lose your hair right up front, this may not be the hairstyle for you. But if you're losing your hair back here on the crown, this is the style you're looking for. Basically with this hairstyle, you're sweeping back the hair over your head with height and volume at the front. On the sides, you're keeping it shorter. You can go for finger length or you can actually cut it short with clippers and go for a more tapered look. The nice thing about the tapered side look is it makes the hair on top look a lot more prominent. Now this hairstyle takes a bit of planning. You got to make sure you get the right cut. If you're starting off with shorter hair, you're going to need to let that hair on top grow out for a while, probably a couple months but once you get it, you're going to find that this is a solid look. Now, the great thing with this hairstyle is there's a wide range of products that are going to work. So matte muds, going with a pomade, going with the styling cream, even gels that clump your hair together a bit are going to be perfectly fine. The crew cut. Now, a crew cut is also known as a short back and sides. Basically, the hair is left a little bit longer on top and then tapered in the back and on the sides with what's called a fade. Now, the best thing about this style if you're losing your hair is it de-emphasizes thinning hair. It does this by reducing the level of contrast between the temples and the side of the head. Now, with all the hairstyles I'm talking about, I do recommend that you work with a professional, especially if we're going for something that's going to blend in, that's really going to work with your bald spots, whether in the back or the front. A professional, whether working at a salon or a barber, is going to be able to blend in, be able to adjust things so that they look best and be able to get the results you're looking for. The spiky textured cut. I get it. This style isn't for everybody, but if you want a style that's going to help give a lot more texture to the top of your head and it's going to help cover up bald spots, you want to look at this style. So in general, with this hairstyle, we're going to see a mid fade. We're going to see short hair at the back and it's going to get longer up on the top. Again, because we're going for texture, volume, and hold, you want to be using a product in the top part of your hair. So really depending on what you're looking for, if you want a bit of a shine, then you're going to go for a gel. You're going to go for a pomade. If you want something that's completely matte, then look for like a matte mud. Look for a fine. Those are going to do a good job giving you a bit of texture without the shine. Now, if you're looking to level up your style, you really need to check out my free community over on school. I've set this community up so we've got free classes that you can make your way through step by step and learn the basic foundations of men's style. And I have to say the men that are in this group are friggin' awesome. We've got a no a-hole policy. People treat each other with respect. And what we've managed to create in this community is a place where a man can come in and ask questions and get some solid advice. So gents, use the link in the description of today's video, go check out our free communities on school. These are for you to become the man you know yourself to be. The buzz cut. Now, this is not the same as shaving your head bald. It's close, yes, but there is a distinct and a big difference. With the buzz cut, you still feel like your hair is still there. Even if you just got a quarter of an inch, for some reason, it gives a lot of guys that bit more confidence. They're like, you know what? I have not gone completely bald, but I'm going with a short style all around my head that just simply compliments me. And the best part about this, because your hair is short all the way around, it does a great job of masking your receding hairline. Another benefit, it's really easy to take care of. You can now do all your 
your haircuts from home. And notice on this list, I did not have the comb over. Yes, please avoid that. That is just a bad look. But if you've lost most of the hair right here in the front and in the back, but you still got it on the sides, then consider going with a shaved top. Just shorten it on the sides with that buzz cut. And guess what? Yeah, shave it right there on the top. That's actually a great refined look. Make it so. What video to watch next? Well, if you're going bald, this video talks about how to keep your hair. We talk about medication. We talk about lifestyle change. We talk about diet. So, check out this video right here if you want to keep the hair you have.